What scares me going forward is that we're all gonna sit and do nothing and let what we all rely upon more and more, which is internet and computing, be taken over by criminals and terrorists and used against us. Can criminals stop electricity network from providing us electricity? Water network from pumping water to our houses? Oil from flowing through? Possibly they can. But tomorrow, it'll be even easier for them. Every day passing by through automation and reliance on computer networks will get us one step closer towards these people, criminals, affecting our lives. Only last week in Sweden, a hospital and a health uh, organization was hit by a virus. So their X-ray machines didn't work, the life support machines didn't work. So a few years ago, if you were to ask me, you know, Millie, would viruses and malware kill people? I would have said no. I can no longer say that. So viruses and malware do kill people. It happened. Like I said before, I would have answered as, no, malware cannot kill a human being. If you asked me that question three, four years ago, but now I can no longer say that because of what happened in Sweden last week, where a malware caused damage to a hospital and their infrastructure. So, denial of service attack. A malware caused a life-supporting service to be denied from a patient and that could result in that patient's death. So simple thing like denial of, service, denial of service attack could bring the system down. Is it gonna happen tomorrow? No one has a crystal ball to tell you that. However, we are building our reliance day by day to make it easy for them. With no thought going into or minimal thought going into how to protect us from it. It's not too far away we have to start protecting ourselves against these. You've just heard the thoughts of Meli Abdulhayolu. If Meli has provoked you on issues like security and trust on the internet, authentication, and malware prevention, please visit www.meli.com for more.